Bobby J. Fowler is the most prestigious award presented by the International Code Council. The award honors the memory of the first chairman of the International Code Council Board of Directors. In 2012, the recipient of the Fowler Award is James Tim Ryan, my friend, a certified building official and code administrator in Overland Park, Kansas, Building and Safety Division. Earlier in the week, you got to know a little bit about Tim during the video presentation at our opening session. It truly has been my friend to know Tim as a colleague. We serve together on both the ICC and the Boca boards, and I know he views what he does for a living as a very noble profession, not just a job. Tim sets the bar high. Please join me in welcoming Tim Ryan, the 2012 Bobby Fowler Award recipient. Tim. First of all, uh, thank Ron Lynn for having the drink up here. Um, it's it's uh, pretty nerve-wracking to be up here. Uh, when I was chairman of the awards committee for a number of years, it was always easier to be giving it out than, than the position I'm in now to receiving it, because uh, I'm about as nervous as I've ever been right now. I don't have a lot of time, so I want to get to some thank yous and then some comments about Bob Fowler. Uh, the thank yous, uh, first of all, to Chairman Anderson and the Awards Committee and to uh, Bill and the Board of Directors. Thank you so much for bestowing this honor on me. It is truly a great honor, and I'm still trying to get my mind around it about how big of an honor this is. Um, I want to thank the, the organization I work for, the City of Overland Park. It's the greatest organization in the world to be a, be a codes administrator on. Um, my mayor, my city council, my city manager, my director. Uh, in the 34 years I've been with the city of Overland Park, uh, they've always embraced building safety. They've always made sure that uh, we had the resources, the budget, the things that we needed to do, what we needed to do to ensure the safety of our citizens. Jerry Anderson, my right-hand man, is sitting down here. Uh, he's been with me a number of years. Um, um, I cannot tell you how much my staff means to me. Uh, they're so important. Uh, some individuals I want to thank. Um, Henry Green, who's in the audience, uh, the president of the National Institute of Building Sciences. Henry and I have been together a long time. Uh, he's taught me as much as, as I ever knew about uh, uh, embracing people and, and good communication and, and, and finding the win-win in everything that we do. Um, and Henry's doing some great things with the Institute, and a lot of what we're doing there parallels what ICC's doing, so stay tuned there. Uh, to Paul Heilstead, uh, pa Paul's not here, but Paul was the CEO of Boca. Uh, at a very young stage of my career, Paul taught me what it meant to be a board member, uh, not just showing up for the meetings, but coming to the meetings prepared to be engaged. You know, when you come to a board meeting, if you just sit there, you're kind of on the sidelines. And he taught me that you got to get in the game. Uh, you got to participate. You got to go out and you got to do your work. You got to do your homework. You got to come prepared. Um, Jerry Jones, uh, our award is named after Jerry. I talked to Jerry today. He uh, sends his appreciation and says hi to everybody. Uh, what an icon he has been. Uh, to have been lucky enough to serve under somebody like Jerry, who taught me the value in doing what we do every day, how important that is to our constituencies and our citizens, and not only serving at the local level, but how important it is for the volunteerism that this organization embraces uh, to get involved at all levels of, of code enforcement and codes administration. To my family, uh, we're best friends. Uh, we celebrate each other's accomplishments. 
my kids are phenomenal. Uh, my grandson, is, my grandson is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, to my wife, uh, Mary, who's over here. Hopefully, everybody gets to meet her. Uh, she's been the love of my life for 34 years. She's been my best friend, um, and she has been a role model to me as well. Um, I don't know that she knows that, but she's my best friend. So thank you. Bob Fowler was truly a visionary. I knew Bob. I didn't know him well, but I did know him. Uh, I had conversations with Bob. And being a true visionary, one of Bob's strengths was that he embraced other visionaries and brought them into his fold, into his little army of visionaries when we created this organization. People like Bill Tangy, Paul Heilstead, John Tra, Gerard Garofalo, Alan Olson, George Walker, and then he sent them out amongst the rest of us to um, get us involved and to show us the importance of creating a single organization or at least at the time a single set of codes. And as you look back on what he accomplished, there was really three phases of our evolution to get to where we are today. The first one was the consolidation of the codes. And if you remember, and I'll remind you at the time, that's all we were talking about. We were only talking about consolidating the codes. There was no conversations about merging organizations or anything else. And I think Bob and his little army of visionaries um, were smart enough for the rest of us to know, well, if we get the ball rolling down the hill with consolidation of the codes, hopefully that the rest of us would be smart enough to fill in the blanks and keep it rolling. We got the codes consolidated. We, we created a single set of codes. And at the time, we thought that was the most difficult thing we had to do. Then came the merger of the organizations. And if you look back on that, that made merging the codes seem pretty easy. Okay? We merged those organizations. We, three, we took three competitors and we threw them together and said, here it is, now you're one organization. And when you look back on it, the second phase seemed harder than the first phase, and it was. So what's the third phase the, where we're at? To me, the third phase is truly bringing together the membership, the individuals. And that's been a little bit tougher. But I will use my nomination for this award as an example of where we're at. Um, a very dear friend of mine uh, basically said, well, you probably shouldn't say who nominated you, so I'll, I'll keep that to myself because that's very special. But the key part of the story is, is that the people who nominated me, they came from different code cultures. They came from different regions. And they are even different than the culture that I came from. And one of the individuals I was talking to yesterday that nominated me, I was talking to him and he said, you know, when I first met you, I didn't like you very much. <laughs> and you know, when you first hear that, it kind of stings a little bit, but I respect him because he's honest. And what's important about this story is that's probably true if you look at the people next to you in this room, the table next to you. If you came from ICBO or Boca or Southern, at the time we were merging, we probably didn't like each other very much. And now look at us. Look at the people next to you. Not only have we come together as colleagues, but the people that nominated me, I can sit here and I can tell you, they're some of my best friends in the world. They're not just colleagues, they're not just people that I can call up. They are truly, truly my friends. And why is that important? It's important because this organization has a lot of things in front of it. You nominated and you elected a new board of directors yesterday. You also have a gentleman by the name of Dominic Sims who's in a new role with this organization as your interim CEO. We got a lot of challenges ahead of us. You know, we got budgetary problems, we got membership issues, and the list goes on and on and on. And what I will do with this nomination on this award is I will challenge you, the membership, to help them out, because they're gonna need it. And Bob Fowler was, was credited with a very, very, uh, in, uh, critical saying that he, that, that he said often. And he would always say, you know, our job is to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. 
Well, I challenge you, the membership, let's don't be part of the problem. Let's help our board. Let's help Dominic solve the problems before this, this organization. Thank you very much, and good night.